Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Dan here with uh, some devotions from Philip Rinder's book, Seeking God's Face. And uh, <clears throat> so I just take you, invite you to take a moment to uh, just yeah, relax and step aside from whatever it is you're doing, if you're able. Uh, if you're not, that's okay. Um, but if you're able to, just uh, take a moment and, and listen uh, to God's invitation. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Our Bible song today is Psalm 76, verses 1 to 3 and 7 to 12. God is renowned in Judah. In Israel, his name is great. His tent is in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. He broke the flashing arrows, the shields and the swords, the weapons of war. It is you alone who are to be feared, who can stand before you when you are angry. From heaven you pronounced judgment, and the land feared and was quiet. When you, God, rose up to judge, to save all the afflicted of the land, surely your wrath against human beings brings you praise, and the survivors of your wrath are restrained. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all the neighboring lands bring gifts to the one to be feared. He breaks the spirit of rulers. He is feared by the kings of the earth. Our Bible reading for today is from 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 10 to 16. Concerning this salvation, the prophets, who spoke of the grace that was to come to you, searched intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you when they spoke of the things that have now been told you by those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into these things. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace bought to be brought to you when Jesus is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am Thanks. holy. I don't know about for you, um, but a couple things stood out for me in today's reading. First of all, um, there's the judgment of God in um, in the Psalm 76. From heaven you pronounced judgment, and the land feared and was quiet. When you, God, rose up to judge, to save the afflicted of the land. And that stands up to me because, you know, I was asked about preaching about the the wrath of God recently, and it, it's very true um, that there is real um, wrath that God has. Now, of course, God is love, and so the wrath that he has um, is loving somehow somehow that has to be 
reconciled if we are to be true to our faith and to our belief that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But you notice that God's wrath here is to save all the afflicted of the land. His wrath in this psalm is not about, um, not primarily about his righteousness or his abhorrence of things that are unholy per se, but instead it is it is his loving purpose to save those who are afflicted. <clears throat> and there are so many of those in our world today. And, and in a sense, I hear that our view should be the same as God's, that we want to save, if it are, is possible at all, we want to save those who are being afflicted, whether they are being afflicted because they are minorities, or whether they are being afflicted because of their abilities, or whether they are being afflicted because of their um, their orientations, or whatever. However people are being afflicted, as Christ followers, it is our calling to abhor the oppression and the affliction and to seek to save those who are repressed, those who are oppressed, rather. And we do that, as Peter says, with minds that are fully alert and sober, setting our hope on the grace to be brought to us when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. We don't conform to the evil desires we had, but instead we be we be <laughs> we be holy because God is holy. And in being holy, we seek to save the afflicted. Let's pray. Missionary God, thank you for sending people to speak your timely message of salvation. We pray for all those who communicate your good news. Empower them to speak gracefully and effectively. Raise up new messengers to bring your gospel to all people and places in clear and compelling ways. And we ask that you send and empower us to be timely witnesses of the glory of the resurrection. In the risen Savior's name, amen. Now receive God's blessing. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Be blessed.